Second harmonic test. The second harmonic test can be verified in two ways, operate to non-operate or non-operate to operate. The R phase and the Y phase CT from the test kit is connected in parallel to the R phase HV side in the relay, external superimposing method. Let us test using the operate to non-operate method. In this method, we will inject 0 0.875 angle 0 at 50 Hz in CT1 and 0 angle 0 at 100 Hz in CT2 of the test kit. When the above value is injected, the relay will trip in differential. Now, let us increase the CT current gradually and verify the dropout. The dropout can be identified when this LED stops glowing. So, we can identify the CT1 value as 0.875 amps, which was already fixed, and CT2 as 0.144 amps. CT2 divided by CT1 will provide the harmonic content during the status change, which should be ideally 15%. In this example, we can observe that the CT2 current has gradually increased, and the relay dropped out when the CT2 current was 0.144 amps. The CT1 current is fixed at 0.875 amps, Hence, the ratio CT2 divided by CT1 equals 0.144 divided by 0.875 equals 15%. Let me switch off the test kit. This test confirms that the relay is operating when the second harmonic content is less than 15% and blocking when the second harmonic content is more than 15%. Now, let us verify the non-operate to operate method. In this method, we will inject 0.875 angle 0 at 50 Hz in CT1 and 0.875 angle 0 at 100 Hz in CT2. The relay should pick up in differential, however, the tripping should not be executed. So, let me reset the relay. Now, let us decrease the magnitude in the LV and monitor the tripping of the relay. By injecting this current, we can see that the relay has not picked up. Now, let me choose 100 Hz frequency and start reducing it. So, approximately, it is 0.138 amps. It is my CT2 value. So, by taking a ratio of CT2 divided by CT1, we should get the second harmonic. So, in any one of the methods, we can identify the second harmonic test. And in some relays, we will also be able to see the percentage directly in the measurements menu. So, this calculation can also be eliminated.